Whoa, What's up guys, my name is Jason, I upload Battlefield 4 videos and among other things like Pokemon and post them on YouTube. Just to get some formalities out of the way, this is the SAR-21 gameplay with my attachments being, I think, Angled Grip, Laser Sight, ACOG Scope, and Heavy Barrel. Uh, sidearm and stuff don't really matter, I'm using the offensive field upgrade, I'm playing with some of my clan mates, ETID, enemy team is Dildo. Playing with uh, Nathaniel, Sky Raid, Genki, and my friend Dave. Uh, there's a couple of others, I will sort of shout them out at the end. But anyway, this is a tips and tricks video. Um, so yeah, the the background doesn't have any, like the video has nothing to do with the actual tips. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. This is just basically like how to not suck at Battlefield 4. If you play on the PC, I'm not good at consoles, so I can't really give uh, tips for consoles. So the first one I would suggest is making sure your VoIP is on. Speaking to your squad mates is very important, and I'm sure people have said this, but I'm going to emphasize it right now. If you are have a mic, even if you don't have a mic, if you have speakers or headphones or whatever, turn your VoIP on so you can hear your squad mates talk to you. Uh, they can provide you with valuable information. For example, like if you walk past the person and they're they're on your they died and you're on the kill cam, they'll be like, "Oh, uh, person, they're right behind you," and then you can turn around and start spray somebody down. Likewise, if you need ammo or something like that, uh, you can just be like, hey, you can talk to the support guy. Uh, like, I would talk to Nathaniel there, which is F68. I'd be like, hey, can you drop an ammo pack? And he will yeah, no. be sure to drop what you want because, you know, he's a good squad mate and stuff like that. <laughs> also, uh, if you're the squad leader, you can mark targets. You get points for that, and your squad mates get points for that. So you can, um, like, if you hold that, if you hold Q, the spot, like the default spotting key, and over, like, an objective like E, uh, if you press it twice, it'll give you like a little like comatose, which is like you can do attack, defend, and uh, like thank you and stuff like that. If you press attack, uh, people should rush over, or they should. You'll get points for that. And likewise, if you do defend, it'll do the same thing. And if you're the squad leader and you do have a commander, you uh, you will be able, you will be able to communicate with the commander. So you can uh, ask him to drop supplies. You can do a scan, maybe drop some sort of vehicle like a quad, or something like that, so you guys can get uh, an extraction point out. Now, in addition to all of this, uh, what's very important is listening to sound. Uh, personally, I play with a Logitech headset that's really, that's not kind of cheap, but it's made for Skype, but I broke off the right ear, so I only have hearing in the left ear, uh, so that's no bueno, so I actually listen with my speakers. I just have, like, uh, these GigaWare cheap Radio Shack speakers that, um, <coughs> oops, excuse me, that I place on the left and right side of my monitor so I can get a more surround sound type deal. Um... Listening to the sound is very important. Hearing footsteps in this game are a little bit quieter, I feel, than in Battlefield 3, but they are definitely distinctive. You will be able to hear somebody sneak up on you. If someone tries to parachute down and take your sandwich, like in the Russian Badger would say, you can hear them parachute down. You can hear gunfire. Um, suppressors you will be able to hear within like a 20 meter radius if you have good hearing, even if you don't. You will be able to hear uh, direct... You, the sound in this game is really directional, so like if someone shoots in a corridor to your left, you will hear it from your left and not, it'll be very faint on your right because it'll echo. So that's pretty awesome. So listening to sound is important. I would not, man, I really don't understand how people can invest like $300, $400 if they have the money uh, to do that because I would just invest in like a better monitor or something like that. Like a, but uh, I guess I could see the merits between that. But honestly, if as long as you have a pair of headphones or speakers on the left and right side of your actual body, you will be able to hear them better. Okay, the third tip I have is to reload Wait, smartly. Uh, if you have 29 bullets and you're in a firefight, it's maybe it's not the best idea to reload. It's best to reload when you're in cover or when you're working towards a squad mate or when someone's covering you. And if you are VoIPing with them, you can tell them that, oh, I'm reloading, I'll be right back. Or like it'll take like two seconds so they can be able to cover your ass. Um, yeah, so reloading is important. There's not mag dumping like there was in the beginning of the game, but, you know, it's pretty awesome. Um... I thought that was pretty awesome because it taught everybody how to reload. And, uh, actually, this is the first game I played when I uh, when mag dumping was patched. So uh, yeah, it's going a little hammy streak up here on the roofs. Okay, um, the next tip I have is if you're a support, drop your ammo boxes constantly, even though you only get two little ammo packs or one ammo box. And if you're med, it's the same deal. Uh, dropping them, uh, you lose nothing by dropping them if nobody goes there. If you don't drop them or you're just ignored, like you forget, you're hurting your teammates because they can't, um, they can't get heals. But the thing is, if you drop them and nobody uses it, that's on them. But if you drop them, if you don't drop them and they need it, then they'll be punished for it because they won't. They'll have to wait to get ammo. They'll have to wait to get healed, and that could potentially cause them to die, causing you guys to lose a ticket. That's potentially the last squad mates for someone to spawn on, so a whole squad's basically wiped out. So that is just no good. 
Likewise, if you are a um, recon, the some gadgets are persistent. The Soflam, the Tugs, the Spawn Beacon, they're persistent. That means if no one destroys them, or if nature lets it live, like no trees fall on it or debris or whatever, or like the building collapses, your Spawn Beacon will stay there, um, even when you spawn on it, which is pretty awesome. Same thing with the Tugs and Soflam. So, if you have motion mines in C4, I would spawn on what motion mines and then the spawn beacon. Put the beacon somewhere, and the next time I die, I spawn on the beacon. Have motion mines and then like, C, uh, like a tugs. Place that tug somewhere where you want to camp. Have the motion mines handy for when you're on the go. When you die again, um, add, uh, you know, so flam for if they have, having trouble with vehicles. You know, that kind of stuff. The next tip I can offer you guys is tap fire. Recoil in this game is a little bit harder to control than it was in BF3, especially because with if you attach a weapon with a heavy barrel. The heavy barrel, although it doesn't increase the range of the weapons from what I've seen from Simtic and from my own experiences, it does increase the aim down sight accuracy slightly. Maybe about 20%, maybe not 50%, but 20%, which is actually really important because if you're using an AR, uh, getting long range shots is essential for counter sniping if you're an assault if you're an assault player. We're gonna get blown. So tap fire, just click, click, click. You can micro burst, as what? some people call it, or burst fire, which is like you shoot like two, three bullets, maybe five or six. Personally, I, I prefer to tap individ my individual bullets, so that way, um, if you use something like an angle grip, your recoil overall is reduced by 33% because that it promotes um, tap firing because it's the first shot. So that's great. Uh, tap firing, even in close quarters, is uh, pretty okay. Um, I would, in close quarters, you can go full auto, but I still kind of burst a little bit. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> the next thing is when uh, when to hip fire. Uh, if you're using like a red dot sight or like a hollow sight or the coyote or whatever, um, you can aim down sights if they're close enough and you ha and you catch them with their pants on the ground because um, your sped will be basically zero at that close range. And yeah, hip fire causes you to waste ammo. Uh, hip fire is good for mobility, but um, if you have like the tac light, you want to be able to aim down sight. But if you're using the flashlight and you're in close quarters. I would just use the uh, hip fire mode just because um, you know you, the flashlight will blind them and stuff like that, and that's great. The next tip is callouts. Callouts are important. Callouts are very important. It goes along with VoIP and sound. You can uh, if you if you see like a supply crate drop, you know that enemies are probably gonna swarm it to get you know change their kits, replenish their ammo, replenish their health. So if you call out, that's great. Uh, likewise, even if you don't have a mic or whatever reason, or if it's a night and you don't want to wake anybody up. So you don't have sound on. You can type into the chat like, "Oh, we have people going to C." Just type in C, or or type in D, or, or like they're rushing the B objective or whatever. So like that's important. Uh, people do read the chat most of the time. Um, when they die, they'll look at it. Uh, most of them are show when active, so they'll be able to see it as soon as it pops up, as long as they're not in a firefight. So that's great. Uh, another th another right. tip would be attachments using the correct attachments. Uh, I found that the heavy barrel and assault rifles in particular aren't that aren't that good for high rate of fire weapons. So like, for those weapons, I try to I usually go with uh, standard barrel. I don't really use the muzzle brake or the uh, compensator just because the accuracy penalty is awful. Uh, but I do use the heavy barrel for weapons that I plan to use for a long range, such as the uh, AK-12, these not the Scar H, but the um, SAR-21, which is my favorite gun in the game right now. Um, likewise, if you're gonna use a heavy barrel, I really don't see the point of using a red dot sight. I would just use like a zoom sight, like a like a two times zoom sight or a uh, 3.4, like the PKS or the ACOG or whatever. So that's uh, you know, choose your attachments well. Use laser sight if you need to use it. Uh, people say it reveals your position, but honestly, um, a lot of decent players, a lot of like a lot of the decent and less players won't really notice that, so you don't have to worry about that so much. Um, next couple of ones are, uh, you know, a little straightforward. Take breaks, dude. Uh, like, sometimes I play for, like, four or five hours straight, not gonna lie. I, uh, just, like, grease ball it out. And I, I realize that I get, like, a diminishing return with my score and stuff like that. So what I do is take, like, an hour break, maybe go out, uh, eat a little bit, uh, drink, take a nap or whatever, and go back to play. It's like a job, brah. Same thing with squatting up. Squat out with your teammates. Uh, it's people what you know, friends. Try to make friends on Battlefield. Um, don't be a dick on VoIP. Like, this one dude... TBG server told, asked me and my friend, like, why the fuck are you guys on the edge of the map? And I told him to shut the fuck up over VoIP, and then he kicked me because he was an admin or something, or he told on me, so yeah. So don't be a dickweed on uh, VoIP. Squad up with your buddies, they will help you, and also when you learn to play with people, you realize, like, how important teamwork is, so it'll be easier for you to make friends uh, so you can play. 
Uh, so yeah, that'll, that'll conclude this video for right now. The next video I will upload is probably a, a medic or a, an assault specific uh, tips and tricks video just because I do play that class a lot, uh, more than any other class. Next will probably be like recon with the DMRs because I think the bolt actions are kind of garbage in this game. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time.